Hi everyone, welcome to A Work in Progress, I'm Joanne. Uh, today's video is a follow-up to my Shop With Me video at the DRM, or the Durham Rescue Mission Outlet Store. I uh, recently uploaded a video, and I will link it at the end of this video if you happen to have missed it, where the outlet store that I have been going to just moved indoors. Uh, previous to that, they had been in, outside under some tents in some very hot weather and some rainy, rainy weather, and they just moved inside. Uh, it's very similar to the Goodwill bins, but on a far smaller scale. But I wanna show you the things that I picked up while I was there. It's a pretty incredible haul, I think. I'm very happy with a lot of the things that I got. Uh, so grab yourself something to drink because this video, I think, is gonna run a little bit longer than my usual videos do. But let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what I found. Most everything that I'm going to show you is for resale, um, either directly here on my channel, or I will place it in my antique space, or it'll be available in a live sale. Anything that I'm keeping for myself, I will let you know what that is, but anything else is kind of up for grabs, as they say. Um, and do watch through to the end of the video, because I would love to know in the comment section down below what your favorite find was from this haul. And I will let you know what my favorite find was as well. So let me get started with, I think this might be the first thing that I found when I was there. And this piece, I think, is pretty incredible. I have to stand back so you can get the full effect. It's a weather vane. Look at this. It's just incredible I think. Let me show you the deer up close. It's painted. I could not find any markings on it as to who made it. Let me take it apart here. Um, couldn't find any markings on it as to who the manufacturer was and I couldn't find this exact one on eBay either uh, but what I was able to find, uh, let me set this down here. Okay, what I was able to find kind of leads me to pricing that somewhere between $40 and $50. Um, it's a beautiful piece. It's in, it's in really, really good condition. I was ex super excited to find that. Next thing is this ceramic gravy boat made in Taiwan, Republic of China. Perfect for the fall season and Thanksgiving that is coming up and very close to happening. Let me take this out of the box for you. Oh, come on now. I was really happy it was in the box as well. Because this is some, what do they call this, new old stock? <laughs> because it is new in the box. Don't think it's been used. And in perfect, perfect condition. Sorry about this styrofoam noise. I know that bothers some folks. There he is. He's got some crazing on him. But other than the crazing, he is in perfect, perfect condition. Uh, let's see. Not dishwasher or microwave safe on the bottom, he says. And it says the same thing on here. So I was really happy this guy was in pristine condition and that I was able to pick him up. Let me put him back over here. Okay, I really have so much to show you. This piece is definitely going to go into my antique space. And here he is. So we have the little piggy here. And it looks like there's a crack right here across the wood. And actually a couple of times, even though I know it's not a crack, I felt it to make sure. So I think they did a really good job with the graphics on him. He's a newer piece. Uh, let me see here. It is composite wood is what he is made out of from Creative Co-op. And he's on this kind of rope hang here. And then you can put notes on here. This one right here, I think it's this one. No, this one right here. I just have to work on a little bit um, to fix it up. But otherwise, he's in great condition. This is another fabulous piece, I think. So we have like a chalkboard up here and then these little clothespins and an area where you can hang things there or the chicken wire. So that is the whole piece. 
Uh, this was this was a Hobby Lobby piece, and it doesn't say the tag has been pretty much ripped off of the back of it. So I don't know what its cost was originally, but you know Hobby Lobby stuff sadly is not cheap. But this is a pretty cool piece for the booth, I think, as well. I think I'm going to quickly run out of room here. Okay, some bag crinkling, just to let you know, I think is going to be coming up shortly. Uh, this is for myself. It is a, um, it might be that, um, oh my gosh, lamb's ear or something similar to that. It has sort of a flocked feel to it. And I know, oh yes, that's, I thought this was an Ikea piece. But this is great because I do not do well with live plants. And those of you that have been uh, watching me for a while know that. So when I can pick up uh, the faux plants in really good condition, I will get them. There's another one in here. Oh, let me see. Yep, yeah, here it is. Another Ikea plant right here. So I'll be really happy to put those in my decor. I might change out the pots or do something to them. I'm not sure yet, but I don't think I'm going to leave them just the black as they are, but we'll see. Uh, oh, these are so adorable. And I could not believe that they were not damaged. It's these two little... Now, I know they're supposed to be clowns, but they're adorable clowns. Look at them. Look at those little ones. They have a bit of paint loss on them. Here is the first. So you can see a little paint loss on, on the head there, but so adorable. And there is this little one doing a split, it looks like. Um, there may be some kind of lettering or numbering on the bottom. I am not sure, but it's very hard to make out. And nothing on the other one, but I thought those were just two little cuties. I couldn't leave them behind. Uh, picked up a Pyrex, I guess it would be a juice container. I'm honestly not sure if it was ever meant to have a lid or some kind of stopper in it at all. And yes, I should have looked up the pattern before the video, but to be honest with you, I forgot what was in this bag. Um, so, But I did pick this up and I was pretty happy for that. Pyrex, if you can see that, made in USA. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to pull this out. So I debated back and forth on this bunny, and then I finally got him because I think he's just cute. I don't believe it's an old piece or anything, um, but it, it could definitely be used for Easter or even the springtime. And he's just adorable. And I don't often come across pieces that I think could be used for spring um, you know, and or Easter. So that's one of the reasons I decided to get him. So he's a metal is what he is, and then he's put on this um, wooden plaque. Uh, first we have sweet little kitty cat look at him in his little basket I think he's just adorable and he has a tag on him made in Taiwan so cute and he's in perfect condition not a thing wrong with him Let's see if there's any crazing actually I don't even see any crazing on him uh, you know my mission stay, save the Starbucks mugs I'm I'm doing that. Here's another one with the green, kind of evergreen trees on it and the gold handle. This does, oh, it's from 2015. And what is that, a 14 ounce mug? It's hard to read, up, read backwards. But there's another one saved. Uh, this I picked up for a couple of reasons. I really, it's, it's kind of an amber, yeah, this is sort of an amber color. Um, it's in really good condition. There's no chips around here or anything, but I really liked the white detailing in it. So I'm not sure if this would be considered an art glass vase or not, but I just really like it. I think it's very pretty. There is the bottom of it. So this as well is perfect for this time of year with that amber color and this, the kind of the whites just swirling around in it. So really pretty piece. Do I see a little chippies in there? Oh, actually, I do. Now that, let's see here. Oh, yes, there are a few teeny weeny little flea bites around the inside and maybe one or two around the outside. Notice those just as I was putting it down. Stuff is put into this. I have a very large Ikea bag here that I'm pulling things out of, and they're just in there so precariously. 
I don't want to ruin them. Uh, I got an Eeyore mug because I know there are some Eeyore lovers out there. This is, oh my goodness, it is a from Disney. Can't make out the bottom of it there. That black against that blue is really hard to make out, but super cute. And this is a large size mug too. Um, this, if you saw the shop along video with me, you remember me commenting on this vase. If this is a beautiful milk glass vase. As I said in that video, I don't often pick up milk glass, but this one I had to get, look at the detailing on that. I think it is just so, so pretty. Is that a crack? Oh, dang it. Okay, it does have some kind of crack or a split hairline right there on the interior. It does not go all the way through though, so that's not going to affect the use of it. But I just thought this was a super pretty, pretty vase. No markings on the bottom of it, so I have no idea who made this. Um, I'll save that. Here we have a little Tigger mug. So he's poking out of the front of the bushes here, and then his little Tigger butt is poking out of the back of the bushes. I thought that was really cute. Perfect condition. Uh, this one's easier to make out. This is the Disney Store uh, Made in Thailand. So I will bet you the other one uh, has the same marking on it. It was just really, really hard to see. This basket will be going up into my booth. I really like this. It's got kind of a cording on the bottom of it and then uh, twine wrapped around the top and the chicken wire. I think this is a perfect, perfect basket for somebody that does farmhouse decor. You could use this lined, you know, with a, a bag in it. You could use this as a trash bin. Um, my goodness, you could put your dog's toys in this. Uh, you could put balls of yarn in it, uh, pine cones. I mean, I think there's just a ton of things that somebody could do with a basket like this. Um, this is something I picked up for myself and in perfect time because I, I cannot find my other one. It's a, <clears throat> it's for your cell phone, you know, to, um, so you have your cell phone up while you're driving. And I have no idea what happened to the one that I have had and this one is the kind that goes clips onto your oh, I know it's not cooperating now there we go clips onto your vent so I was pretty happy to find that and it, I tested it and it does fit my phone so big yay on that uh, oh this is so cute and I was so happy there was a young lady there that picked this little guy up and put him back and I was so happy that she did because I'm happy to pick him up. Let me pull the tape off of him really quickly. Look at this. It is a pink bunny on a nest. I don't think I have ever seen this before. So, so adorable. He's got a little more tape on his little bunny butt. I'll have to clean off. He's in perfect condition. On the interior here, I'm going to have to do some research on him. There is, I don't know if I you can see it, there's an S on the interior of the basket. I don't see anything on the exterior and I don't see anything on the interior of the bunny's body, but I was super happy to find him. I think he's adorable. Uh, whoops, oh my gosh, my bag is tipping. <laughs> I picked this up. And there's another piece on kind of on the bottom of the bag that will tie in with this. This has a, obviously a very nautical look to it. And then you'll see how it ties into a picture frame that I picked up as well. Okay. This is adorable. <laughs> it's a cardboard egg. See the bunnies? So here's another good Easter springtime piece. So I was fortunate to get two really good Easter springtime pieces. Even that bunny, come to think of it, would be a good spring and Easter piece. Now this little one, you open up, and it might be missing a larger egg inside of it. I'm really not sure. But so we have a little egg inside of here. And then we have a littler egg inside, and then that's it. I don't, nope, there's no more eggs inside. 
uh, and this was made in Germany. See right there, really cool piece. So even if it's missing uh, one or two of the eggs, I just think it's adorable. I will try and look this up on eBay and see if I can find it, and then if so, how many eggs were actually supposed to be in here, but super, super cute. Because you could take this apart and use all three of the eggs, uh, like in a little vignette or something like that. Really cute. Put him right there. Um, I'm going to save all the blue pieces to show you at one time. I'll show you this piece right now. My daughter is upstairs sleeping. So you might recall um, that I have been gathering up NC State pieces for her for her for Christmas as kind of gag gifts. Look at this. I found an NC State gnome, a garden gnome. He's so cute. He was in perfect condition, but then when I put him in my bag, I thought he got rubbed a little bit somewhere. Well, now I can't. Oh, yeah, little teeny tiny. Got, I don't know if you can see it. A little black mark there got rubbed, but that's not a big deal. So, but otherwise, he's in perfect condition, so he's going to be a little cutie for her Christmas. Uh, let me see. Oh, this is adorable. These you may have seen in the shop along. Uh, this set of owls, maybe the mama and the baby owl. It's in pristine condition. That might be a PC on the bottom. I'm not entirely sure. But other than that, there are no markings on it. Looks like it had been just 25 cents at a yard sale. They couldn't sell it, so they donated it, and I was happy to pick them up. So I do know there are a lot of um, owl lovers out there. Uh, let me go ahead. Oh, let me show you this. Um, this is for myself. I'll try not to blind you. It's just a nothing frame, nothing you know special. Uh, I just liked the wood grain effect on the outside of it. And this will be going into my personal collection with my family photos. Uh, oh, this little guy is a cutie as well. He would be great maybe in someone's kitchen, in their rustic kind of farmhousey kitchen, um, holding some aprons or a dish towel. Another piece from Hobby Lobby, and this was originally eight bucks. Super adorable. And if you didn't like the bacon on there, I would imagine you could even sand that off. But I'm going to leave it as is and let somebody else decide what they want to do with it. Um, oh, I didn't tell you what I spent. I spent a total with tax and everything, $27.57 on everything that I am showing you. This was a great haul. Uh, let me, oh my goodness, what is in this? Oh, Okay, we've got some breakables in here. Let us pray that they came across without any damage. Oh, found a flower frog. He was hiding on the bottom of the bin and he is identical to one that I just sold in a live sale. Uh, no markings on the bottom of it, but he's pretty cool. He has three, five, 11 holes, I think 11 holes in him, if I'm counting correctly. Well, not counting that one, big one in the center. Um, this, there's something else in here? No, it's just a heavy basket. Wow, this is a longer burger basket. Um, I was never, never went to any of the parties. I was never a fan of them. I have nothing against them. I just think they're crazy expensive, or they were, because I don't think they're manufactured any longer. But here is the stamp on the bottom of it. This bag is in pristine condition. It has, let me open it up here. It has a lining, a plastic lining inside of it. I don't know if you can, there you go. Make that out a little bit. And there's even the kind of like a brochure in here about the longer burger. I was hoping it would be specific to this basket. Oh no, it's not. It's just that how they're created, they're one of a kind, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm not, oh my goodness. That was a close one, guys. <laughs> I'm not sure what the intended pur purpose of this was. Perhaps I can find um, what 
what this what kind of basket this was online. That is the very first longer burger basket. Oop, here we go. That I have ever found. Uh, this is what I almost knocked off the table. I thought this was a, just a really cool jar. It's shaped like a house with its chimney on it. And the cork, I thought for sure when I was there at the outlet, the cork is never coming out. And sure enough, pops right out. This was probably for, I don't know what, syrup or something um, back in the day, but I just think it's adorable. So I picked that up. This little cutie you may have seen in the shop along, adorable little planter of this little pink bear with the little um, bow tie on. He does have a little chip right there on his paw, but that's okay because it is very hard to notice. You really have to actually feel for it, but I just, I thought he was adorable. I picked him up anyway, and he is a made in Japan. There we go. Uh, this will be going, I think, into the booth. Fresh milk. I loved this piece. Uh, it does not have a tag. Oh, yes, it does. Hobby Lobby. So all I can say is thank you very much to the person who bought all of these things from Hobby Lobby and then decided to donate them. I was very happy to pick them up. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of counter space. There we go. Um, let's see if this is a Hobby Lobby piece. This is actually a tin of fresh eggs, it says. Really cute. Uh, this does, let's see. This is 2011 Desperate Enterprises. So it does not look as though this is from Hobby Lobby. But this is definitely something I think that you would find at Hobby Lobby. Uh, this I just had to pick up. <laughs> I guess I will go ahead and put it in my booth. I don't know that anybody is going to actually want to purchase it, but I thought it was kind of a cool sign. And it is manufactured by George C. Brown and Company, Greensboro, North Carolina. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. It's actually imprinted into the wood on the back, but that was a pretty piece. I had to get that. All right more pieces in the bag and then I have some more glassware to share with you. So this is the frame that I got that kind of goes with that. You know, see that nautical feel between the two of them. This is, I just thought it was really pretty. It's in very good condition. Another hob Hobby Lobby piece. I honestly did not realize how many of these pieces all came from Hobby Lobby. So really cute. It has a couple of black marks on it, but I actually tried a while I was at the outlet and if you rub, you can get them off. So I know a magic eraser will get those little black marks off very quickly and easily. And this is the last piece in my Ikea bag. And it is this piggy. I'm assuming you could use it as a cutting board. And oh yes, cause it already has been there. He has a few little marks in him. So he was probably used as a cutting board, but he's really cute. You can hang him up here like this if you like, or you could just stand, stand him on your counter. He has no markings on the back of him. He does need to be cleaned up just a little bit. He's kind of sticky a little bit, but that's not a big deal. And then the last few pieces I have to share with you, we're so excited that this little one came out intact. There was another similar piece to it uh, that I showed in the shop along that had been broken, sadly, or I would have picked up both of them. And this is Coalport, made in England, is what it says on the bottom. Really pretty piece. So happy that one was not damaged. Then the last pieces, oh, there we go, one more in there. <laughs> are um, all blues and they were all together and I was so happy to find them. So first we have this little planter here. All it says on the bottom, there's actually a number on here too, but let's see, I think that's a number. Yes, it says made in USA 654. Oh, there's more down here too. 
Oh no, there's not. It's just the sticky from the, the sticker. So made in USA 654. And then another one, same shape, little bit different blue, because you can see this kind of white that goes through here and on that side. This one is also made in USA. However, this one does not have any number on the bottom of it. Really, really pretty piece. A shaker of some sort. I guess you could use it for just about anything you wanted. You know, cinnamon or nutmeg, uh, even Parmesan cheese if you want it to be fancy on your dinner table. This, absolutely no markings on the bottom of this one, but I loved the shape and uh, I loved the blue color on it as well, even though blue, although I'm wearing blue, is not one of my colors. I say that, but Another really, really pretty blue piece here. It does show some wear on the gold that's on it and especially around here on the top of it. And this, oh my goodness, all these stickers. What does this say? Uh, oh, this was made in the um, Czechoslovakia. See on the, can you see there it says check and then I can't make out the other word on the bottom but this is a real even with a little bit of paint wear on it this is a beautiful piece and I would use this um, as a vase myself and then I think this is the last piece that I have to show you uh, let me try and pull this awful tape whoops I do appreciate they don't want these pieces to get broken I, I really appreciate that but Man alive, this tape is just brutal. <laughs> but any of you that thrift understand that. I'm not going to take it all off because it's not playing nice with others. But this is really, really pretty. If you can see the detailing on that, and it's also on the lid, it needs a good, good cleaning. All it has on the bottom of it looks like it might be a number one. And, oh, there was a sticker of some sort on the inside. That, that is long gone. And it does have some chippies around the outside of it. It's a little rough on the outside of it. So I wouldn't run my finger over it too quickly or too hard. Um, the interior lid, oh, it has a little couple chippies right here as well. But when you put it to, you know, on it, you cannot see the chips. And this would just make a nice little... A storage container for a vanity or a bathroom you know counter or something like that really really pretty so that guys thank you for sticking it out with me is everything from that haul my favorite piece hold on oh come on now Sorry about this. Here we go. And I won't bring it all back, but my favorite piece was the weather vane. I had two people approach me in my cart when I was there asking me if I was sure that I was going to get this. Yes, I was, and I'm so happy that I picked it up. So this is my favorite piece from this haul. So if you would, please, in the comment section down below, let everyone know what your favorite find was from this haul. Uh, let me put this down somewhere. <laughs> There we go. Um, and if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Make sure to hit that all notification bell so you don't miss any upcom upcoming thrift haul videos, shop with me's, and live sales, which I do usually every Monday night on my channel. So um, that is it for now. Uh, for those of you that have been with me for a while and that are newcomers, comers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and all the wonderful comments that you leave for me in the comment section down below. I appreciate each and every one of them. That's it for now, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, please take very, very good care of yourselves. Bye for now.